I am here going live with our Tuesday tips for nurturing your child's mental health. And I am doing this as well on Instagram. And we had a different time today, so I apologize for that difference in schedule. We normally do 11 a.m. Eastern. So again, I am doing these lives every Tuesday during the month of June in response to questions that I have received around how to help our children and how to support their mental health as we transition out of the pandemic. So today I have three tips to share with you. The first one is let them do things on their own. Let them do things on their own. I know this can be difficult for a lot of us moms out there because we want to be proactive and prevent our children from experiencing any hardships. So sometimes we like to do things for them. However, they are not able to learn the lessons that they need to learn if we're always doing things on their behalf. So of course this is age appropriate. Let them do things on their own. My oldest daughter would always tell me that she learns from experience, even when she was younger. So anything that I would try to tell her or do for her, she was gonna to try to do on her own anyway, which allows her to learn from natural consequences. So that's the first thing, let them do things on their own and then sleep. Sleep is very important. In fact, we're gonna do a post on the benefits of sleep. So what we can do as parents is model good sleep habits. So we know that as adults, we function better. We're more productive. We can be more positive and better handle challenges that come up during the day when we have enough rest. So make sure you model those good sleep habits and try to implement those for your children as well. Even though I know most children do not wanna to go to bed, they don't wanna miss anything, but it's very important. Number three is also modeling. So it's modeling positive self-care. So we know how important self-care is for us to show up as our best selves. So if we let our children see us doing and practicing self-care, talk about self-care. Um, when my girls were younger, and I still do it today, but when they were younger, I would um, announce when we got home that I was going into the room, mom is going to the room to do 20 minutes of meditation, and then I'll be out. So they knew not to bother me for those 20 minutes. It became a regular part of our routine, and then it allowed me to show up in a more um, grounded and peaceful manner for the rest of our evening routine. So if you just talk about it like any other subject in terms of your self-care and then let them see you doing that um, with your exercise, with your eating habits, um, whatever types of self-care resonate with you, then they'll be more likely to implement and have um, healthy self-care habits themselves because they're gonna model what they saw you do as their parent. So again, I'll just cover those three quickly one more time. Let them do things on their own so they can learn from their experiences. Number two, sleep, teach good sleep habits. And number three, model positive self-care. 